hey, do you guys remember what it was like to travel? Yeah, I don't either. Good thing I have some footage on my hard drive from the last time I was in Japan when I was thrift shopping for white clothes that I could flip. Welcome to day four of Thriftmas. <laughs> So when I was in Japan last year, I had this mission and it was to head to Don Don Down in Shibuya, which is a very, very cheap thrift store. And I was only looking for white clothing, things that were my size, things that I really liked the shape of, but might need a little bit of spice added to them to pastelize them. So behind me here, I have a whole bunch of white clothing that I bought in Japan. I think I spent about $50 all up for everything here behind me. I'll show you the items at the end of the video, but stay tuned and you can watch some thrift shopping in Japan footage. So this is Don Don Down. It's a store located in Shibuya and it's unusual because the way that they price their items is by putting a little tag on them that looks like a type of fruit or vegetable. So for example, this is a mushroom priced dress, which means it's 900 yen or nine US dollars. This is a banana t-shirt. Now banana is a $15 t-shirt. So it's a little bit confusing because you, you have to keep asking yourself, hang on, what is the price of a banana? What's the price of eggplant? What is the price of strawberry? But you do get a little piece of paper when you walk in the store and it has all of the prices written on it. It's like a cheat sheet. So the way that this store works is every day they offer different prices for the different fruit and vegetables. So the reason that the store is called Don Don Down, its full name is Don Don Down on Wednesday. And that is because on Wednesdays they offer the cheapest prices for everything. But if you go on different days, the different fruits and veg are different prices. If you go on a Monday, for example, pumpkins might be a thousand yen, but if you go on a Tuesday, pumpkins are 500 yen. Or if you go on a Wednesday, they are 3000 yen. So the way that they price their items is, well, basically, it's just a guessing game, really. It's like a lottery. It's quite fun, actually, when you get in the swing of things. When you first walk in, you feel very, very, very confused because you've never seen something priced as eggplant before. This top was watermelon, so it was 500 yen. Now, this dress here, this looked stunning. Oh my god, I was absolutely in love with it, but it was $20. Uh, it was peach, which was $20. So I obviously didn't buy it because, uh, oh, I'll actually look back on it, 20 bucks isn't that bad. But considering some of these other things were literally two and three dollars, $20 seemed like a lot at the time. This store is really pretty because they've categorized the whole thing into different aesthetics. So right now I am standing in the kind of pastel kawaii section of the store where everything here is frilly and lacy and pretty and sparkly and this is my favorite part of the store to shop in. I loved this dress. I, I was literally so happy when I saw it. I could imagine myself wearing it. I wanted it so bad but it was $50. So um, yeah, it was a hard pass for me. A watermelon skirt though, watermelon does mean $5, so I was very chuffed to have found this one. I just love this place so much. I love all of the styles that they categorize their things into. They even have like a, a goth punk section. This, look at this. Can you believe how cute this is? Ugh. I'm editing this video right now. And I can't believe I put that back. Why didn't I buy it? Why? This skirt, very nice, but there were so many skirts that it was very hard to decide. I decided to choose one that was a bit longer than the others because I figured you can always make a skirt shorter, but you can't make it longer. Well, I hoped you liked that little blast from the past. So let's have a look at these items that I bought. And then I'm going to ask you guys to tell me what you want me to do to these pieces in order to flip them. So I'm gonna name each one of them. It'll be item one, two, three. And then if you have any great ideas, I want you to leave a comment down below and say, hey, for item number one, I think that you should do this. For item number two, I think you should dye it with beetroot juice. For item number three, I think you should stick a bunch of daisies on it. 
This is item number one. This is a high neck cropped t-shirt. It's a really unusual fabric. It's almost like waffle knit. It's definitely like a, a sporty kind of fabric. I think they make a lot of sports shirts out of things like this. I don't know what brand this is. I can't read it. I don't know what it says. If that's familiar to you, please let me know down below. My initial thoughts were that because this is such a boring kind of template, I could do so much to this. Like for example, I could change the neckline. I could cut it into a V-neck or I could cut it straight down the back and do a lace up corset detail or I could cut off the sleeves or I could leave it as it is and dye it and put flowers on it. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that I have available to me as far as DIY projects go. I've got some iron on patches, different colored buttons. So watch all the way to the end and then come back and tell me what things that you should put with what clothing items. But this shirt, nice and simple. Number two was such a good find. Now this is a brand called Olive de Olive. Uh, this is more of a cream color than white, but it's this beautiful frilly skirt. It's a really nice length, so I don't have to worry about my modesty. It's got this layer here, which is actually a double layer. On the underneath we have, that's another layer again, and then a layer here. So it's four different layers of fabric. It's beautiful and flowy. I love the look of it. It's got these very fine little kind of polka dots all over it. Obviously this is beautiful as it is, so I don't want to go cutting it up or changing the style of it, but I was thinking I could probably dye this a nice pastel color like lilac or pink. All right, item number two. So this is from H&M. This is a little teeny, teeny, tiny top. I don't know what style you call this. Is it a milkmaid top? I'm not sure. It's just linen fabric. It's very, very thin. It's off the shoulder, puffy sleeves. It's already got a bunch of daisies on it. I know you guys are probably thinking, there's nothing wrong with these clothes. You don't need to flip them. But look, the whole purpose of this video is for people that struggle to find pastel clothes. Uh, people tell me all the time in the comments, oh Alex, there's no pastel things in the thrift stores where I live. Well, I bet there's probably white things. So the whole point of this video is to help people get inspired to not always think that they can't find clothes that suit their style. If you can find a piece of white clothing, you can pastelize it very, very easily to make it your style. Item number four is a similar style top as the last, but much longer sleeves. These have super frilly sleeves on them. They're very, very exaggerated. It's got lace all along the top, and there's a little bit of elastic at the bottom here as well. This is so, so sheer. You have to wear something under it. It's way too sheer. All right, this next one, this is a brand called Bubbles, which I'm pretty sure is a Japanese brand. This is so unusual. This is a white t-shirt that has some sort of harness built into it. I've never seen anything like this before. The harness is actually sewn into the shirt. It's not just draped over the top. It's actually sewn on the side seams here, so you can't remove it. I mean, I can remove it, but this is, look, without it, it's a, it's a plain white tee. And as much as I love that band, plain white t-shirts are kind of boring. So I do intend on retaining this interesting harnessy kind of detail, but just have to figure out what to do with it. This could be a good candidate for sewing beads on or something like that. What do you think? Is it a good idea? All right, this next one is so strange. So this is like net material, completely netted material. This is super, super, super long. It's very long and it has really, really long sleeves too. The first thing that came to mind with this one was tie-dye. I have to tie-dye it. It would be illegal for me to not tie-dye this. I look like I'm a sacrifice for a cult. Hey, no, mister, Mr. Heckums. You stop, leave me alone. Don't be mean to me. Uh -uh. nasty bird refuses to get up on my head. No more shoulder time. No more. Up. No. No more shoulder. Up. I have, I have to show more clothing. Oh, don't be mean to me. Up. Up. No jumping faces. Faces are out of bounds. Up. Yes, good boy. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Your foot is stuck. Careful, careful. Okay. All right, so next up, this is a brand called Dazzle. This is a, just a plain dress. I've seen this design many a places. It's nothing out of the ordinary or nothing particularly special. I feel like every girl that I went I feel like every girl I went to school with in year 10 had a dress like this at some point. This one to me I thought would be a good one to do in yellow. It has embroidered flower details at the top here so they could be cute to actually go over the top of with different colored 
red potentially, but tell me your ideas down below. Mm. And then last but not least, we have a pair of white jeans. So the brand of these is called Venus Jean. They have a little bit of a flared bottom on them. These, I feel like these are perfect to embroider something on, or I could possibly put things I could put things all the way down the leg on these, I'm not sure, tell me what you think. But as far as the clothing goes, that's all of the white clothing that I bought while I was thrift shopping in Japan. Now, if you cast your eyes over here, I have a selection of things here that I can use to flip this clothing. All right, so the first thing, an enormous Hello Kitty iron-on patch. I have two... Oh. Archie has the attention span of a goldfish. Funny because he's a parrot. So I have these enormous Hello Kitty iron-on patches, which I actually think would be better suited to a denim jacket. So I might have to save these for another video about thrift flipping. I have another one. This one is shiny and silver. Now, by the way, I got all of these from AliExpress. Oh my God, I have these. These are so cute. Okay, we have, this is a piece of pro nigiri. We have salmon nigiri, tamago nigiri, which is egg. And I don't know the Japanese name of this one. This is caviar and I think this style of sushi is called gunkan. Embroidered food makes me happy beyond words. Speaking of embroidered food, I have six of these little peach iron-on patches. These are just beyond adorable. Oh my god, I literally love them. I also have the same but in strawberries. I have six of these as well. Some more sushi, but this time the sushi has little faces on it. So it's all the same style of sushi. We have salmon, prawn, and egg, but these guys have faces, so they are far superior. They are sentient. A couple of little Pokemon patches. We have Eevee and Togepi. I have 18 of these glittery bows. Now, the reason that I got these was because I have some Hello Kitty pants that have bows going all the way down the side of them, and I thought I could possibly put these on the white jeans, potentially going all the way down the legs. All right, I think these may very well be my favorite. I have peach pocky, banana pocky, and grape pocky. So of each one, I have four. So I've got four of the peach and four of each. Oh my God, how amazing are these? I feel like putting, you know, all of these on one piece of clothing would be overkill a little bit, although it could be kind of fun to just go ham and have like pocky patches all over an entire article of clothing, just cover the whole thing in pocky patches. Not sure. <laughs> because I'm always caught up in mine, I have a patch that says feelings, <laughs> a cherry iron-on patch, and this. Yes, guys, this is a hundred Hello Kitty patches of all different shapes and styles. So I didn't get to choose what came in this selection. They just sent a random selection. But for example, there's five of this design, five of this design, five of this design. I feel like I'm dealing cards right now. Like, show me your hand. Haha, <laughs> surprise, it's Hello Kitty. Five of this, these are just plain old Hello Kitty heads. Five of the Hello Kitty angels. She's pink and she has a bow in her hair. I think this is my favorite one. Five of this one holding what I think is a black bow or maybe a black butterfly. Five of this beach babe Hello Kitty. She is definitely an influencer. Look at her, look at her go. Five of this one holding a love heart with some little teddy bears. Five of this holding the hibiscus flowers. And the last one in the collection, five of this, where she's holding this cute little pink flower and she's got flowers in her hair. Now, those are all the patches that I got from AliExpress, but then I also got a bunch of things from Daiso while I was in Japan. I got some Sanrio buttons. I've got six that are Gudetama sitting in an egg. I have six Hello Kitty buttons and I have three My Melody buttons. I got these beautiful pastel buttons as well from Daiso and these are stunning. I kind of wish that I'd got a huge amount more than what I got. They even sold pastel thread at Daiso too. I got these things which I believe are iron-on tags, I think. I got these pastel beads. These are stunning. They're kind of slightly pearlescent and they're in blue, white and pink. And I also got some fabrics, which I thought could be really cute. These, for example, I could cut a pocket shape out of this and then sew it onto the pants, for example, or I could even maybe uh, 
Well, I'm not creative in the slightest, so I'm not sure. But these are two big, cute pieces of fabric that I could cut up and sew onto the various clothing items. So that's it, guys. That's all the white stuff that I bought in Japan and all of the things that I could possibly use to alter them. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. Pick an item of clothing, pick some of these cute embroidered patches or buttons or various things, and tell me what you think I should do. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!